got a new show for y'all. We got a damn good show today, Keith. Yeah. Before we start the show, remember everybody, you can always support the twins by going to our website, buying our new t-shirts like Let's Go Brandon and Come Make Me. Use discount code Brandon, we give you 20% off your entire order. Yeah, we got some new shows coming. Coming to Tulsa, coming to Oklahoma City. Oklahoma what? <laughs> Oklahoma City. <laughs> Go to harshtwistour.com for tickets. We do stand-up comedy. See, y'all didn't even know that. And COVID shut all that down. And they know we do comedy. Okay. Been, they know that. Unless they've been living on a rock. Anyway, Joe Rogan. The unvaccinated guy that's getting COVID and spreading it everywhere. Hey, Joe, I heard you went to a veterinary and got medication meant for a horse. <laughs> Find out you had some worms or something. <laughs> That's what CNN told me. So you went to a veterinarian, got you some dewormer. Yeah, so uh, had worms coming out of your butthole or something. <laughs> man, I, I trust CNN, man. Those people legit. They yeah. keep they keep it one hundred, man. Yeah, That's crazy as hell that you would take something meant for a horse, Joe. Yeah. It's crazy, man. Yeah, you had that uh, CNN correspondent, that medical correspondent, to put you in your place. <laughs> Stop spreading all this damn misinformation. You're getting people killed, Joe. Just get vaccinated, Joe. Avromectin, are you serious? It's meant for animals, man. <laughs> yeah, but it, it was a great exchange between these two. He was being facetious. You know. No shit. Well, I got to spell out. You know, some of these liberals are stupid. Yeah, we had them going there for a minute, huh? Yeah, y'all. Y'all, oh, man, these guys are great. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> we were being sarcastic. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, they had a great exchange. Dr. Gupta, first of all. That's all. That's all. No, that's, 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 you can't say that. Yeah, they're going to say you xenophobic or something. <laughs> you can't tell people you got a horrible name. <laughs> yeah, see them. All I'm going to say is that doesn't sound too American to me. It sounds more. <laughs> you can't say that. No, that doesn't sound American. No, you, this is like, what you say. This is, you, your name sounds like a Simpsons character. Or a foreigner. Maybe an immigrant. Man. I'm just speaking truth. He was born in Detroit. He's an American. Well, his, I bet his family ain't from there. <laughs> I bet his mom and daddy are uh, immigrants. I, you got to be. Last name Gupta? I mean, what is that? What's wrong with you? Ain't nothing wrong with me, man. <laughs> I'm just... Hey, does, man, let's get it doesn't that. sound too American. That's all I'm saying. Like Kevin Hodge. Keith Hodge. That's American names. <laughs> Kevin, you can't say that. What? That he is a foreign... American name? This is a country of immigrants. You can't say that. Yeah, I know it's a country of immigrants. I'm just saying it's not too common out here in America. That's all I'm saying. It's not common. Like Tyrone Williams, that's common. George Floyd, that's common, right? That's common, yeah. That sounds yeah. like an American. Yeah, George Floyd? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Gupta? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I, I don't know where that's from. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, check out that exchange. But, but, but what, but uh, so, so for you, Joe Rogan. Yes. I would say you've had it. Yes. So now get one shot of the vaccine. No. Why not? Because I have better immunity than I would if I was vaccinated. We, so right? Yes. Don't I? I think your immunity is really good. So why? Okay, if stop I've it right gone? there. He's being evasive, Dr. Gupta. He's not answering questions. Dr. I'm like, I'm not even a doctor, and I yeah. know if I'm exposed to some kind of virus yeah. and I recover from it, I have the antibodies to fight that virus if I ever come across it again. Yeah. I mean, I'm not even a doctor, and I know that. Yeah, why would I go get the flu shot after I had the flu? Why would I need a booster, a flu booster, after I got the flu? Why would I have to get the flu booster after taking a flu vaccine, and then I take the flu booster? <laughs> have y'all ever heard of a chicken pox booster? Measles booster? And I want to point out something very, very important. He's very evasive. He's not answering any of Joe's questions. Well, he asked him he, a question. Um, don't I have... Ain't my immunity better than the vaccine? Right. He says your immune system is very good. He didn't make a distinction if it was better yeah. or not or if it's the same. You know why? Because Dr. Gupta is a sellout. Yeah. He says whatever CNN wants him to say. Yeah. He's not a real... Well, I guess you could still call him a medical correspondent. I would yeah. say he's a medical propagandist. If, yeah. 
if you really want to get down he to only it. spreads um a certain narrative because he's being told what to say that's what puts money in his pockets that's when you mix whatever your career is if you mix politics with it it's going to it's going to it's going to mess up your thinking you're not going to think clearly you're not going to be objective you got a certain agenda whenever you speak you can't yeah. say certain things even though you might disagree with those things you have to stick to a certain narrative and dr gupta so far in this interview he's doing just that yeah that's what makes dr Fawcett such a such a can't say it yeah that's, gonna call that's bullying you can't do that can't say that yeah you can't do that yeah i mean we need we need an actual medical doctor to spread good information instead we have um People politicizing the virus, politicizing the vaccine. Yeah. It's like we don't need that. We just need information to help us keep us safe. Yeah, stop thinking for the American people. Give the information American people need to hear and let them decide on what they want to do. I mean, you're, you're, you're saying stuff to push vaccines. That's what you're doing. Yeah. A vaccine that I may say does not give you immunity. It doesn't. It, it's it's so bad when it comes to giving immunity. The CDC changed that definition of what a vaccine is. They actually took the word immunity out of the definition. Yeah. Now a vaccine just gives you protection. It's a condom. <laughs> your face mask. It's protection. That's a vaccine now. <laughs> well, you got to stick it inside your body. So it's got to. Anyway, you can say a vitamin is vitamin C. Yeah. That's a vaccine nowadays. Yeah, but here, let's look at the rest of this garbage. COVID, and I was really only sick for a day. And then five days later, I was negative. I, and I do have the natural antibodies now. Why would I take a chance in getting vaccinated on top of that? By the way, I'm glad you're, you're, you're better. Doesn't answer really the question. The you're probably really the only am. one at CNN that's glad. No, you see that? no, no, yeah. no, no, no. We're not. The rest of them are all lying about me taking Hork's medication. <laughs> we should talk about that. That bothered you. It should bother you, too. I, They're well, lying I, at your exactly. network about people taking human drugs versus drugs from it, veterinary. It, calling it a horse dewormer is not a flattering thing. I get it's that. It's a lie. It's a lie on a news network, it, and it's it, a lie that it's a willing that's that's a lie that they're conscious of this is not a mistake yeah they're unfavorably framing it as veterinary medicine well the fda put this thing out you saw you that. this question did you see that thing that the fda put out what did the fda put out <laughs> it was a tweet and it was snarky i admit it they said you are not a horse you are not a cow stop taking this stuff or something like why that. why would you say that when you're talking about a drug that's been given out to billions and billions of people a drug that was responsible for one of the inventors of it making the nobel the prize Nobel Prize in 2015. 15, yeah. Yeah, no, a, a drug well, that has been shown to stop viral replication in vitro. You know that, I, right? I, I, Why would they lie and say that's horse dewormer? I can afford people medicine, motherfucker. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's just a lie. I don't think anyone is thick. But don't you think that a lie like that is dangerous on a news network when you know that they know they're lying? You know that they know that I took medicine. Like, here it is. This is ivermectin. You got this it with it right you. here. Somebody gave it to me. All right, hang on. I, I, do you, the, the thing is, we're, we're, we're like going so fast. Like I feel like I'm missing. I'm missing. Do you think I want that to, that's a problem that your news network was not, lies? Well, I don't. I don't think, Dude, what did they say? They lied <laughs> what did they and said say? I was taking horse dewormer. First of all, it was prescribed to me by a doctor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Along they with shouldn't have said a it was bunch horse. of if, other if medications. Was, if you got a human. Pill because there were people that were taking it, the veterinary medication, and I, you're not obviously. You got it from a doctor, so that it shouldn't be called that. Ivermectin can be a very effective medication. But, but why does that dude look so lost? Yeah, he never answered any of his questions. Yeah, he didn't give him a, a yes or no. It was just very evasive. I like how uh, Joe Rogan, like he told Joe Rogan, is like. You oh that really bothered you that they said you took a horse to warmer and he was like well it should bother you too because it's a lie yeah why doesn't that bother him you're he's like literally laughing as he says that to him yeah I mean y'all supposed to be putting out like solid information yeah for the it, public he's just a liar he avoided eye contact he's looking away he's laughing he's evading his questions yeah it's a nervous laugh and he even pointed out wait a minute I think we're moving too fast because I'm pretty sure he realized he looked like an ass. <laughs> How can a comedian that knows nothing? Well, he actually probably knows more than the doctor, in my opinion. Well, he but, can't know, man. This dude went to school, man, and then he's got that last name Gupta, man. He got sound like his people go to school forever. 
Yeah, he knows what to say, but he's got to stay inside of that narrative that they're pushing. Yeah. That's that's his problem. Joe Rogan actually, uh, he made a post after this interview, and he had some nice things to say about this jackass. <laughs> he says, uh, can I read this time? Go ahead. Thank you, man. If you've only seen clips online, you would think that, man, that name, crazy as hell. And I had a tense and uncomfortable encounter when— when we sat down for three hours, the reality, the reality is that disagreement was a very small part of what was overall a very enjoyable conversation. Sanjay is a really nice person, and I like him a lot. After our t time together, I consider him a friend. <laughs> People on network TV don't have anything remotely similar to the kind of freedom I enjoy doing the podcast. For him to dive into my world and have an open forum conversation with no restrictions took real courage, and I appreciate it very much. He It it didn't take any courage because he never answered any of your questions. I mean, not in this particular part of the segment that yeah. I was interested in. I and mean, dogs every uh, question he asked. Yeah. This dude is not your friend. You know how much garbage this dude is talking behind your back when he's at CNN? No, you know what kind of dude this dude is, Dr. Gupta? What was that, World War II? The Jews? <laughs> he was one of those ace hey, Jews up there. <laughs> yeah, they just came home. I still get paid, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what kind of dude this guy is. Yeah. He is. It uh, makes my skin crawl, actually. He yeah. had that same fake smile, that fake laugh. Yeah. He's a turncoat. This dude will stab you in the back. I think this dude would actually say whatever he, you want as long as you pay him enough money. Yeah. He is definitely a sellout. See, Joe's a nice guy, though. Yeah, Joe's a good Joe's man. Joe's like, man, you know what? He had the courage to come on my show and not answer a damn thing, but he came here. He took courage. Don't take courage to lie and evade, evade questions. He could very easily say, yeah, that was wrong, that was unethical, that was a lie. How easy is it to do that? Yeah. How many times did Joe have to ask him? Oh, uh, we're moving too fast. What's what's going on? <laughs> Dr. Gupta. Then he goes on CNN and doubles down on everything. Yeah. Joe yeah. didn't go to like a veterinary. Hey, I've got my dog. He's got some heartworms again. <laughs> hey, you got some that have a met and stuff? <laughs> yeah. I heard that's supposed to kill all this COVID I got going. Man, I tell you what, when we contracted the Chinese virus, and the reason why we call it Chinese virus is because it came from China. I was down for three weeks. Joe got over this in what, five days, he said? He was uh, negative? Yeah, I was. I should have got me some ivermectin. Yeah. I was, I couldn't breathe for three weeks. Like after the first week, I was like, man, I just felt lethargic and tired. Yeah. And then, like, for two weeks, like, yeah. Any kind of physical activity? Mm hmm. Hold on, baby, stop. I can't breathe. <laughs> it was embarrassing. You could actually get an erection when you had COVID. That must have been very painful. <laughs> man, come on, man. My nuts was hurting. <laughs> like, oh, my back was ringing. Feel like someone kicked me in my nuts. I had a constant headache. Yeah. It was horrible. You got an erection? No, this is after. I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't in there pounding the wife with COVID. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. I got cancer now. Ain't no one hell I'm getting an erection. I had COVID. No, I wasn't even I could have got an erection. It would have been a powerful erection. <laughs> I mean, I've it been one of them weak erections. <laughs> Actually, when I got COVID, my wife locked me in the, this room and she would bring food to the door. She she'd, she'd knock them. Supper's ready. <laughs> and then I had to wait 10 Slide seconds. Slide that shit under the door. <laughs> I had to wait 10 seconds for I could open the door. Yeah. Then I open the door, I look, and she's like around the corner, like. <laughs> like you'd have missed a link or something. That's yeah, like, man. Crazy experience. Feet turn blue. Anyway, Joe. Hey, Joe. <clears throat> you a nice guy, man, bringing that snake on your show. <laughs> that dude is a piece of garbage. Yeah. He is a scumbag. Makes my skin crawl, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Lindell, true patriot. He needs our help. Here's a man who started from nothing, built a great company, 
great products. I mean, you can buy pillows, towels. You can even buy some stuff for your pets, for your dog. Yeah, I'm buying some stuff for my dog, Milo and Ruby. We support people that have a great product and supports our country. Yeah. And they support freedom of speech. Yeah, I don't I don't support companies that's Yeah. Just that don't support this country. Yeah. I, I don't support companies that don't value other people's opinions. And the left is trying to destroy this man because he has a different opinion. Yeah. Just it, because he supported the yeah. president of yeah. the United States. So go to his website now. Yeah. Right? Use discount code Hogs Twins. Yeah. Get a huge discount and you'll be supporting a patriot. Yeah. Don't forget, go to officialhorsetwins.com. Go to the Fight Censorship tab. Hit the links. Follow us on Telegram. Follow us on Rumble. And follow us on YouTube. They haven't censored us there yet. Yeah, they're actually being fair. Yeah. Go to officialhorsetwins.com and pick you out a patriotic t-shirt today. Hell, I'm even giving you 20% off. Just type in discount code Chinese virus. We call it Chinese because it's from China. We making t-shirts great again. Yeah.